Hello again. A uh, little bit of impromptu footage here. Back in the Groombridge 34 system. Uh, uh, decided after going back to Van Means that actually the robot run could be quite profitable. You might remember I wasn't sure if I wanted to take the narcotics or the robots. Turns out I should have taken the robots. Anyway, as you might see, we are um, under attack. Ooh, smeg. Right, well, we got the bastard. Ooh, and my elite ratings got up to below average because of that, which is quite nice. Unfortunately, it did uh, make a bit of a hole in the side of the ship. I didn't put the shield generators back in for this run. Apparently, I should have considered it. And, um... So as you can see, a bit of a hole inside the ship and the cargo bay life support shot. Luckily I'm not carrying anything that needs any life support. There's surprisingly little for sale in Van Means that these people want. I've actually ended up taking a hold full of minerals, which uh, realistically I might make a couple of credits profit on tops. The main reason for doing this is the robot run. Uh, we'll pick them up for about 500 credits a ton here and sell them for near a 1500 a ton uh, to the religious folk over there. <laughs> and we're also carrying a cheapo parcel just because it happened to be coming this way. What I really miss about bigger ships, and I could technically fit it on here, but I wouldn't have much room left, is you can get a hull auto repair system. So slowly that figure would uh, start going up. Unfortunately, if I remember correctly, it takes 40 tons of space, which, as you might see on this ship, would not be the best use of space. That's what I was after. Okay, unfortunately there's not really a way to um, turn down that without turning down the sound on the computer as a whole. So... Nothing particularly interesting there. Oh, it's even worse than I thought. I only made a credit and two credit point two on those so if it weren't for the robots this would be an extremely unprofitable um, venture but again the main reason to show you this is to uh, demonstrate a quite profitable little route. Uh, let's repair the cargo bay life support and fix that damage to the hull. Just 
just as well this is going to be so profitable otherwise we really would be screwed oh didn't mean to do that might head back to Sol after this and see if there's any um, better ships that I would like to purchase I would rather like to get down to Imperial Space at some point to buy a courier and show you the advantages of it but that's going to cost a hell of a lot more than we currently have so maybe by part 30 of this series we'll be able to do that Still in undetected. <laughs> right, Gupta's is a trick. Perry's the legitimate one. And as you can see, I paid 532 credits per ton of robots, so I'm going to sell them for 1,574. So we are making just over a grand of profit per ton there. <clears throat> Which I think is even more profit than we'd get on the slaves, so it's entirely possible that that is the best um, use of money. Hmm. 575, that's not as much as we were getting paid, but it's a little bit high. What the hell? Let's give it a go, shall we? Looks like it could be vaguely interesting. And it gives me an excuse to do the robot run again. Now, considering what happened last time, you'd think it might be a good idea for me to put in some shield generators. However, that would seriously cut into my profit margin, so... Or would it? I'll have to check the prices, because sometimes... You can almost get more money for removing a shield generator in one system than you paid to fit it in another. So I'll have to see what the prices of shield generators here and back in van means I really wish there was somewhere nearer to where you tend to jump in that I could um, go to Okay, I've slightly wasted some fuel there. If that message ever pops up, then it means you have literally put 100%, which probably means you only used about 80% of that tonne to do it. So, wasted a little bit of fuel, but not massive amounts. sitting watching a World of Warcraft download and slowly go to 93% Ooh. another gig and a half to download that's another advantage of this game since it's all offline it can be quite a good one to play while you're waiting for a download to finish or similar to know how that will factor into the new game they're doing, whether you'll have to prioritise a bit more. Oh. 
three credits to land in this dump. Bloody ripoff, if you ask me. Ah, see that message? Sorry, I can't pay now. I may be able to pay later. I thought he might do that. Um, ultimately, we've just made that trip for nothing, really, but... You should always be suspicious of people who can't pay anything in advance because it does occasionally mean they're going to screw you over. However, our main reasons for coming are still the same. We're still in... Ooh! 61 signal, how close is that? Minus one, one, so it's more over here. We could go there. <coughs> How many of you are there? Five of you, 25 tons of space. I could still uh, fit a couple of shield generators around that. Okay, well, it appears our return to van means and then soul might be delayed because this sounds like it could be quite fun plus i don't think i've been 61 signal yet on this game so take a couple of tons of spare fuel One, two, three, four, five, which gives us space for four of these, which we'll have to remember I paid two and a half grand for and can have removed here for 2,000, because when I go back to that means if, for example, they'll fit them for two grand, I'm not actually losing any money <coughs> fitting them to come here, so that'll be worth checking. Uh, I want more money. So there we go, she's paying six grand in total. The passenger cabins oh, cost us slightly more than that. However, we are also factoring in the uh, money we'll get back from them. So off we go again. Hello, Scott. Okay, that's not quite as bad as some of the places we've been going recently. Apparently, this sister is known for tourism. Terraformed, abandoned, resettled, now famous for fishing and tourism. So, fascinating little place. Let's see if this woman's right about having assassins on her trail, shall we? <laughs> Was our half not paying attention there? Oh, bloody hell, that's a big ship. Cobra Mark III. With only one megawatt beam. That's interesting. I would have expected a ship like that to have a bigger laser on it. <coughs> Maybe whoever's after her can't afford top quality assassins. Come on, little assassin.
Okay, so he had an ECM. <clears throat> There we go. Got there in the end. Oh, this is a federal system. I didn't realise that. That's interesting. Yep. Fascinating. Not that it often makes much difference which um, one of the three you're in, but it can be interesting to note nonetheless. <laughs> oh, we actually get to land outside for a change, and for only one credit. And Miss Brett has now paid us in full. So, let's see if there's anything that immediately catches the eye. Yeah, it's a bit far out of my way, even though they are paying good money, so I might uh, skip that one. Ooh. So, that could be an interesting one to do. Right, well, I'll save there, and in the next video we'll head back to Goombridge and see if we get shot at again. Bye-bye for now.